All right, well, I'm here again doing more experiments and um, got my controller built. Um, I have hooked it up and just kind of played with it. Um, it seems to work. Um, I did do uh, Dave uh, Lontown's circuit, this one right here, and then found a right reversed, revised version. And uh, so I, I did do some minor changes and fix that. Um, I just want to kind of show you something. I got my radio on, and uh, it's over here in the corner, okay? Just regular old big old stereo. And um, I noticed something when I was playing with this controller. Controller, all I have is the power plugged in. As you can see, right here. It's just plugged into an outlet. Don't ask me why there's an outlet in the ceiling, but there is. And uh, so I noticed if I turn my radio up, okay, and uh, turn on this controller, I can actually interfere with the radio, and I think it's going through the ground or the neutral or the uh, hot and the uh, AC side of it, but it could be outputting frequency. I'll show you here. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. And you can hear it. Now as I adjust frequency, you can hear the noise change. Now if I turn the gating off, it doesn't do it when I turn the gating on. Off. On. So basically, I just thought that was quite interesting that that does that, and uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, I'll just show you some close-ups here of my controller, and uh, you can uh, check some more videos out. And I got some uh, other things I'm going to be posting, so check them out. Here's a controller close-up. It's not finished yet. I still have to put. Uh, my connectors where I have the studs sticking out right there and there those will be those will be connectors on the outside so that I can uh, just hook whatever I want up to it it's got its own power supply in here and I'll use an external power supply for uh, the uh, cell so we'll see how that goes chip mounted on a nice heat sink in there once again, it's not done yet. I do have to uh, finish the sides and a few other things, but looks pretty uh, looks pretty neat in the uh, in the dark there. It's kind of cool. So I got the uh, the gating side here. Now I am just using uh, dip switches instead of the uh, selector switch for three position um, I didn't, couldn't find one and I had these around I figured I'd just use those got my power on and off here uh, once again this is the uh, turn the gating off this is the gating side frequency and uh, mark space and then uh, this is the uh, regular output of the frequency um, the frequency knob and the mark space knob selector switches for frequency range and then uh, turn the gating on or off with this switch here but yeah that's it so it's pretty neat spent a lot of time on it it's kind of cool so when it's done 
with some more video and hook them up and see what we get. See ya. Alright. 